Hi, this is Glenda. I just thought I'd show you what I've been working on. Um, excuse my voice, I've caught a cold off my grandson. Um, we're doing vellum at Papermates on Saturday, so I've been playing with various bits of vellum. There's nothing systematic about this because I did an overview of vellum about a year ago, so this is just me playing with the ideas. So I've done um, one where I've um, embossed with an embossing folder, embossed with a, a stylus and a brass stencil, made little punched flowers. Uh, this one was um, die cut from a cherry lin die and again some vellum flowers. I uh, showed this one the other day with the sequins and it's just a little vellum window shaker card. Um, this one's another vellum window which I'm not sure how well that'll show up. I made the mistake of stamping in Versafine and I thought that would dry on the vellum but honestly I have a feeling it may never dry. I keep ending up with little marks on the inside of my card. Um, so that was a bit disappointing. Uh, let's see. This one, I've punched uh, the circle with the circle, Martha Stewart circle edge punch thing and made a vellum dress and I've embossed the vellum for the dress. There's heaps of instructions for this origami dress online. Um, there's nothing new about it. Um, these two, I cut some feathers in vellum. Um, not sure how well they'll show up. Uh, they were both done on the silhouette um, because I happened to have the files for them. So oh, they came up quite well. This one's really delicate. You can see it well in person. Um, this one's just a, a die cut and embossed one and uh, heat embossing for the sentiment. Uh, this one's using a sticker colouring on the back of the vellum and the sentiment again is under the vellum. Um, this one is stamped and I put a, a jack adhesive sheet under it and put glitter on that and the idea was that the glitter would shimmer through but honestly it didn't work. <laughs> you can't see the glitter at all. Um, if you get it on just the right angle you get the really odd little sparkle but that's it and I stamped that one and stays on it dry perfectly. Um, this one is stamped and heat embossed on the vellum, coloured underneath with Copics. Um, the background um, underneath is coloured in blue distress ink and then on the top I've got some more vellum for waves. And then this last one, the cupcake, is the one that I have the file for and uh, the brother scan and cut file. And I was really surprised that the ones that come with it, there was no cupcake and no cherry to go on top because they had ice cream and they had a wedding cake and but I mean cupcakes are huge in crafting and card making and yet they didn't have a cupcake. So anyway I've made a cupcake file so what it does it cuts out your base card, there's a separate piece for your cupcake wrapper and I ran that through my um, crimping tool. <laughs> the top is um, vellum and there's two different shapes for doing your top and I've embossed the vellum and I've only used vellum because that's the subject. Um, I think it might actually be better in a glitter paper or something a bit firmer but I'm doing vellum and then um, the little cherry is also in the file so um, I shall put the link to that and anybody with a scan and cut can make cupcake cards um, and it's quite cute. So that's what I've been up to and um, I'm not sure what to do next. I'm open to suggestions. I need a theme. <laughs> so I also need to get better. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.